The Event Horizon Telescope has taken a historic first image of our galaxy's supermassive black hole. The image, captured in the light of sub-millimeter radio waves, reveals the existence of a black hole in the center of the Milky Way, which feeds on a trickle of hydrogen gas. The Event Horizon Telescope made headlines in 2019 when it successfully produced the first image of a black hole's event horizon, namely the black hole at the center of an active elliptical galaxy, Messier 87. The Event Horizon Telescope made observations Sagittarius A star, the Milky Way's supermassive black hole. At the same time, it obtained the data that generated that image. Sagittarius A, on the other hand, proved more difficult to photograph than the M87. For many reasons, the water-laden atmosphere of Earth can absorb submillimeter radio frequencies on which the Event Horizon Telescope is based. Furthermore, the gas and dust in the 27,000 light years between us and Sagittarius A might scatter and blur the image. Finally, although M87's black hole has a voracious appetite and seems brilliant because it's eating a lot of gas, the flow of material into Sagittarius A is considerably weaker implying that it is much fainter. The Event Horizon Telescope can detect light in form of radio waves from hot gas swirling around the event horizon. The black hole feeds on the material in its near surroundings, such as gas clouds, asteroids, or even stars that may get too close and be torn apart by gravitational tides. The new image reveals that an event horizon of Sagittarius A star is 51.8 micro arc seconds across the sky. M87's black hole is far larger than Sagittarius A star. Therefore, changes take days to become noticeable. But Sagittarius A star is much smaller, and the brightness of the ring may alter in only minutes as material whips around it. Try to explain what they were seeing. The Event Horizon Telescope team, made up of over 300 academics from 80 different universities, ran over 5 million supercomputer simulations in order to discover that one matched what they saw. This image of the Sagittarius A star, like the one before it of M87's black hole, was made possible by the magic of very long baseline interferometry, which allows astronomers to combine data from radio telescopes all over the world as if they were one large telescope, effectively making the Event Horizon Telescope the largest telescope on Earth. The network consisted of eight telescopes at the time of the observations, including one South Polar Telescope, which was too far south to investigate M87. But three more have since been added to the network. Because of the eight telescopes, the Event Horizon Telescope's greatest baseline, comparable to a telescope's aperture, for observing Sagittarius A star was 6,650 miles, or 10,700 kilometers wide. Sharper images will now be obtained in order to better understand the physics of turbulence in the ring around the black hole as well as how the black hole impacts the environment of the galaxy around it. Thanks for watching.